Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly love reading for June 2021. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. Those of you who've liked, shared and commented, thank you all so much. And for those of you who have been booking private readings with me, thank you for choosing me to be part of your story and part of your journey. Um, and this reading is for both singles and couples. And I've already pre-shuffled both decks. So let's start. Okay. Oracle, Universe, Cosmos. What's going to be the main energy? Or something for Taurus to think about? Or what's going to be the main energy? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for the month of June. Okay, so, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Tarot and Universe, please tell us what it's coming for. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for the month of June. For couple and singles. Foundation, reflection, action to take, moving forward. The bottom of the deck is five of wands. And so let's find out. Let's find out. The main energy is poise. Foundation, six of swords. Reflection, Ten of Swords, Action to Take, Six of Pentacles, Moving Forward, Two of Pentacles. So, Taurus, um, as we see here, we see the Five of Wands, okay? So, as you are right now, I can see that you are frustrated. You are having some um, conflicting um, situations and perhaps you are having a misunderstanding with your partner or if um, you are single, I feel that there is some type of miscommunication with the person that you are interested in, okay? So if, um, you know, if, if things are not going right, then obviously... Um, it's it's time to make things right Taurus it is time to make things right and as we can see here it says you are poised you are ready to um, make a make a change you are ready to do whatever it takes so this is how I'm um, see it obviously things are changing things are changing and you are ready for a new start okay however anything is going right now because it sounds to me looks to me that you are having some type of misunderstanding miscommunication somewhere and of course you want to move on to a better place with this six of swords okay so as we can both see here your foundation here being the six of swords i feel this communication that needs to happen from this five of wands here is going to be able you're going to be able to think right and any um type of you know storm storm that you have been going through with your person i feel like you're going to be able to um resolve it okay that's how i'm seeing it and if you are single of course i feel here that for some of you within yourself you are not feeling calm enough you haven't been feeling calm for quite a while for some of you because as i link the five of wands to this reading you may be having some um, conflicting um you know subjects um, or situation uh, uh in, in terms of your love life and i feel until you move into uh, a clear thinking clear conscience situation i don't feel like you are totally um ready to be you know to be with someone new okay 
what I feel that you are going to do for, for the singles, what I feel here is that you have to think of what you want right now and then be ready to to start a new relationship. However, I feel like, you know, for most of you, this readiness is all about you. <laughs> That's how I see it for the single people here. It's all about how you feel right now and you need to be ready for yourself if that makes sense yeah because i feel here that with this conflicting um you know thoughts you want to move here but i feel you are having uh, a quarrel with someone okay this is um, opinions this is misunderstanding and so obviously you want to move on so whether you are coupled or single there is some type of misunderstanding somewhere that you need to move on from but i feel for most of you it's a mental um, situation that you need to move on from and i also see here that uh, but it could also be that for some of you you'll be you know moving to a new place you know um yeah that is how i'm seeing it because some of you are preparing yourself for those of you who are single you will be preparing yourself okay for a new possible relationship if you haven't met anyone yet but i feel like here you are preparing your mind to to embrace yourself embrace yourself and then you can meet someone else if that makes sense and your reflection card is the ten of swords so having this ten of swords here tells me that there are some of you who are done with a certain situation some of you you are done being single and some of you you, you you are just done with unhealthy situations because this is the six of swords that you want to move on and you'll be reflecting you'll be reflecting that you know all these bad things that has happened in the past i'm done with it i just want to move on with this six of swords okay and so whether you are in the relationship or not anything that you'll be reflecting on is something that in in, in the month of june you'll be reflecting on situations that has not been too helpful for you because as I link it to the five of wands, this is not a very healthy situation for you. And I feel like in the month of um, June, somewhere around 10th or uh, uh, 5th of June, you know, you will, you will be in this situation where you feel like, you know, um, you've had enough and you'll be thinking. You'll be thinking a lot. And I feel like you'll be doing too much thinking okay but all this thinking is going to end in a way that i feel is going to be more positive for you because i feel you will have to discuss it with someone okay you'll be discussing it a decision about your love life whether you are coupled or single you'll be making a decision that something that has happened in the past you don't want to go back to it i feel this is more to do with your past but in, in June, it will, it will be on your mind, okay? It will be on your mind. And so, um, the action you need to take is the Six of Pentacles. And having this Six of Pentacles here tells me that, yes, um, for some of you, those who are single, you will definitely be making every effort. Every effort to, to go out more, to get to know people. And I feel for some of you, you'll be getting involved with your family okay getting involved with your family and making sure that you meet uh people and have fun that is how i'm seeing it here and for those of you who are already in a relationship i feel like you know you want to work on this um six of swords situation and then be able to communicate with your person on the on a higher level on a deeper level and then try and bring some balance into your relationship so this is how i feel it's going to be okay this is what you need to work on because you've got two sixes here you've got two sixes here so i feel here that balance is what is important balance within yourself and balance you know that is practical because if things are not fair this is fairness and balance so anything that has not been fair for for you you know you are going to end it end it mentally emotionally psychologically and do something practical about it and for those of you who are single i feel like you'll be going out and doing whatever it takes to 
um, to, to make yourself happy. Okay. And for some of you, you know, I feel like you would just be chilling out. You would just be chilling out. And I feel this is where you meet someone, someone new. However, I feel for most of you, it's all about preparing yourself for a brand new start. I don't think that's uh, the most of the single people really, really are totally ready for a relationship. But I feel you are preparing yourself to be ready for it, if that makes sense. Because I feel most of you are not keen on having uh, anything serious in June. You, you want to, you, you may go out, but it's just going out. You don't want anything serious for now. So that is how I feel here. And for your moving forward card, there are two practical issues that you would need to um, choose one from, okay? For some of you, it could be uh, a, a juggle between your your finance, which is your career. And for some of you, it could be a juggle between your family and your, your partner, for some of you, okay? So if you are single, I feel here that you will be juggling whether you actually want to be single or if you actually want to be in a relationship, if you just want to just chill and just love yourself, I feel for some of you, that is what you'll be doing. Okay. So I feel here that, you know, Taurus, whatever you are doing, um, the main thing I feel here is you need to, you know, find the balance within yourself because this is balance and this is also balancing and also this is balance. So, um, yes, balance is all you need because any conflicts you've had within yourself or if you're having a misunderstanding with someone, it's important that you find the balance you need to be able to communicate with the world around you. Whether you are, you know, single or in a relationship, of course, if you're, you're, if you're not mentally balanced, you are not going to be having the right conversation. You're not going to be able to to do what it takes so having poised here tells me that yes i feel you need to prepare yourself for whatever um, you want your love life to be okay so taurus i hope this has been insightful for you i will leave the reading here i'll see you next month or you will see me next month